you can really start with like a proper story as well. I mean, we're the brand with like almost 100 years of uh, history, so we have lots of references points and we should use them. Um, and we have to combine it with whatever new trend. So it's quite good to have a nice storyline at the front because uh, it makes more strength to your design. I think it's quite good with um, our director, uh, JP, uh, which he always welcomes new ideas. He doesn't really care whether if it's a certain format or not, it's quite organic. And I can tell you that recently I did a presentation with um, the Homer mobile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it could be quite creative almost with like Homer Simpson's. I don't know whether if you know the episode where he builds this car, but that was in my recent presentation. I can't tell you anymore, but that's how creative it is at the front, up front. As an exterior designer, um, and I actually as design, you're pretty much in the forefront of a project. As you know, uh, you start with the design is a sketch, as simple as a sketch on a white paper. But I think um, as you follow through the production process, um, I think everybody's looking for ways to shave off a little bit of time, uh, almost kind of expedite the process. Whereas this magical tool called Alias comes in. And um, nowadays I think sketch you know, Photoshop render, of course, and then designers are more um, kind of pushed to do their own uh, Alias model. Not a complete model, not a complete um, highlighted whatever model, but a very sketch model. So that's what's going on with the term, do you know how to use Alias when you're in an interview, is to do a sketch model which um, I did for the super sports and it was, you know, well received. And that was one of the points that I was um, lucky enough to, you know, get it selected.